fundamentally, the future is vastly more exciting and interesting if we're a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species than if we're not. You want to be inspired by things. You want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great. And that's what, uh, what being a space-faring civilization is all about. You might be asking what made SpaceX stand out from the crowd and why Elon Musk deserves credit for pushing his companies and his competitors to the next level. Well, this can be your answer. Despite the recent pandemic's interference, SpaceX employees remained in the complex at work at Boca Chica, Texas, developing and testing the Starship Super Heavy, a fully reusable Saturn V class rocket of entirely new design based on the Methane LOX Raptor engine. In 2022, some significant tests were carried out by the company. The first occurred on February 2nd. Starship SN9 was engaged in a 6-minute, 26-second flight to a height of 10 kilometers and was terminated in a crash when an engine failed to restart. On March 3rd, Starship SN10 was on a 6-minute, 24-second flight to 10-kilometer altitude and landed successfully but detonated 8 minutes later owing to landing damage. Starship SN11 took off on March 30th, a 6-minute flight to 10-kilometer altitude detonated around 600 meters above the ground soon before a landing attempt. And lastly, May 5th saw a successful landing of Starship SN15 in a 5-minute, 59-second flight to 10-kilometer altitude. It should be noted that SN12, SN13, and SN14 were either scrapped or only partially built after being supplanted by the more advanced SN-15. Now that's what you call a successful mission. SpaceX Transporter 2 launched on June 30th, the second in the transporter ride-sharing series. The third Dragon 2 cargo trip to the ISS slash SPX-23 under the Commercial Resupply Services 2 contract occurred on August 29th. Inspiration 4, the first orbital private trip with four people, was launched on September 15th, although it did not dock with the ISS. The third operational crewed Dragon 2 journey to the ISS occurred on November 10th, 2021. On the 23rd of that same month, NASA launched the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, the world's first deflection mission. While the X-ray Polarimetry Explorer for NASA was launched on December 9th, 31 orbital Falcon 9 missions were successful, beating the 2020 record of 25 orbital launches. 17 successful Starlink launches, breaking the previous record of 14 in 2020. 30 Falcon 9 first stages were safely landed, 29 on drone ships, and one returned to the launch site. During the landing attempt, a single Falcon 9 first stage was lost. Only two of the 31 Falcon 9 first stage flights took place for the first time. SpaceX does not always do what is expected of them but sometimes even can't even be expected from Elon Musk's company. In addition to the Galaxy 31 and 32 satellites, SpaceX launched the Nilesat 301, SES-22, Galaxy 33 and 34, Hotbird 13F and 13G, and Utelsat 10B satellites into geostationary orbit in 2022. Satellite operators' C-band clearance effort will continue in 2023, with spacecraft such as Galaxy 37, SES-18, and SES-19 on the launch schedule for next year. Other geostationary missions will transport satellites to Europe, the Middle East, Latin America, and Asia-Pacific. 2022 saw the expansion of the Starlink broadband constellation, with Shell 4 receiving the most attention. The Falcon 9 has also been chosen for several lunar and planetary missions, scientific missions, and small satellite rideshare flights. Transporting the South Korean Danuri Lunar Orbiter, the country's first lunar spacecraft, the NASA SWOT Surface Water Survey Satellite, the Japanese Hakuto-R Lunar Lander Mission, and three transporter rideshare missions flying numerous tiny satellites into orbit were significant highlights of the last year. Is that the only thing the Falcon can do? You know it can be used in more advanced missions than ever before. SpaceX has been testing many things recently, and finally we can say that Booster 7 testing concluded with a 14-engine test fire and a long-duration 11-engine test last November. The 11-engine test lasted 13 seconds and was the last before the launcher was returned to the manufacturing site for launch preparations. On December 15th, the ship was repaired and a successful single-engine static test firing was performed. Ship 24 was placed atop Booster 7 in October 
to test the whole Starship system. This involved many cryogenic proof tests and testing and adjusting the system's alignment. Booster 9 is now being proof tested on one of the suborbital pads, while Booster 7 is preparing for the crucial 33 engine static test fire and orbital flight test. Booster 10 is still being constructed, whereas Ship 25 has been finished. Whatever the outcome of the orbital flight test, other spacecraft are ready to begin flight testing. With the ultimate objective of making life, multiplanetary Elon Musk created SpaceX in 2002. The aerospace industry works around the clock to build spacecraft and technologies that will allow humans to explore the solar system. From flying the first humans into space, to executing the first high-altitude Starship test flight, to significant contracts with NASA, SpaceX has documented multiple accomplishments so far, and today there is no better company in the world with expertise and specialization on reusable rocket projects than SpaceX. If you're enjoying this video, getting value from it, please take a second and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. This would mean the world to me. Recently, SpaceX created history when it reintroduced human spaceflight capability to the United States, a move dubbed a new age of American spaceflight. NASA astronauts Robert Bob Behnken and Douglas Doug Hurley were flown by SpaceX to the International Orbit Station, also known as ISS, as part of the agency's commercial crew program, which seeks to make regular crewed missions to space from the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Getting humans to space after over a decade, I believe this is something that should really get everyone closed fist to chest right in the heart of everyone who has any sense of adventure. Musk said following the successful launch. I'm so overtaken with emotion today that it's difficult for me to speak. I've been working on this aim for 18 years, he stated. After 63 days at ISS, the Demo 2 mission concluded with a successful crew Dragon splashdown, demonstrating that SpaceX's spaceship can safely transport people to and from the space station. Crew Dragon was certified by NASA for regular operating flights. How does SpaceX complete launches and missions with so much urgency compared to everyone in the industry? Elon Musk revealed his big secret on this topic in 2020 when SpaceX launched its second crewed trip to the orbiting laboratory. Crew-1 is the first operational flight of NASA's commercial crew program, and it launched a multinational crew of four astronauts. Crew-1 launched from Launch Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, atop a Falcon 9 rocket on the Crew Dragon Resilience spacecraft. Crew Dragon Resilience docked autonomously to the space station's Harmony module, carrying NASA astronauts Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker, and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Soichi Nugochi. Crew-1 astronauts were anticipated to operate at the station for six months before returning aboard the spaceship, continuing the fantastic mission.